Hey, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. Today we're going to talk about the District Knives Apollo. Thanks for joining us on Love Them Knives channel. LTK here going to talk about District Knives Apollo interesting knife this came out quite a while ago so it's been out of circulation and it's so it's not something you can just go off and buy right now but i wanted to put it on uh put it on my channel it's a really nice knife i got this knife from uh wes gear he's um a subscriber and a friend lives up in the uh Rochester, New York area, and sent me this knife uh, December 2017. I like it. It's great. It's, uh, I guess you might call it a mid-tech, it, although it's really just a manufactured knife. It was manufactured by Wee Knives and sold originally for around $265. I'll give you the link to District Knives uh, Instagram page. So that'll give you something to look at. Look at all the postings they have on there. You got jimping at the top of this blade. It's a real cleaver style knife. I, I like cleaver style knives uh, mostly. So, hey, jimping on the flipper tab. There's your blade stop. Got a little bit of a choil up here, so that's good for sharpening purposes. Doesn't really give you a go-forward area here, but it will uh, facilitate sharpening. Sharpening. Nice, real fine stone wash on the blade. Kind of a bead blast look to the uh, to the scales. Open design with standoffs, like a three and a half inch, yeah, three and a half inch blade, which is about 90 uh, millimeters. Overall, not quite eight inches, 20 centimeters. And let's guess about blade stock. What do you think? Four millimeters? Yeah, which would be like a 0 0.16 or 0.159. Mm. How big is this? 13.7 <coughs> millimeters, excuse me. 13.7 millimeters thick, which is 0.54. So it's a pretty good handful, and it's very ergonomic. ergonomic. Not bad as far as economic, too. I mean, back in the day when these were selling... Uh, 265 uh, that's not unreasonable actually and you can see the stats here from blade hq eight eight inches overall three and a half inch blade s35vn reverse tonto flat grindstone wash and 5.83 ounces is it well we'll see here in a minute let's uh do a little comparison in size it's going to be really, really close to the same size as the paramilitary two. See that? Paramilitary two. Close. I mean, this one always, you know, the knife that's on the bottom always looks a little bit bigger than the knife on the top. But obviously, this is eight inches. This is eight and a quarter. So you got a quarter inch difference between the two of them. And you know that's in the handle. That's in the handle length there. Um, this one's a little bit thicker blade stock, four millimeters as opposed to 3.7, and then overall 0.54 as opposed to the paramilitary, which is a 0.45 thickness. Yeah, so off the stage, fancy, you're done. Um, yeah, and let's pull our scale down. You know, it's got bearings on the pivot, um... Since we knives made it, probably got ceramic bearings because I don't. I have never opened a Wii knife that didn't have 
ceramic bearings. And you know what? The action on this is really great. It's easy to function, centered right up. Like I said, ergos are really good. All these cutaways here, it's just your hand just fits right in there. Reverse grip feels good too. Really does. Pocket clip is a mill titanium as well. And it uh, does not interfere. It doesn't take over the design. It's really good that way. There's your overall design. I, I think it's a great design, especially for a cleaver knife. I mean, it always looks like the, the blade comes way, way short of the tail. But, I mean, really, in reality, uh, because of the angle for the blade, it's, it's really using the full extent of the handle here. And you've got a lanyard hole up through here as well, although it's not tube because you don't have a backspacer. Grams. 163.8. So, yeah, it's not light. 5.78 ounces. They said 5.83 on Blade HQ, but uh, ours is a little bit lighter. So, wasn't a real big deal. I, it came in this pouch that Wes sent to me recently. He sent me this in a boker pouch. He said, I don't know where the hell my pouch is. He finally found it and sent it to me. And this is a very typical wee knife pouch. Uh, so, but I, I mean, very smooth. Fit and finish is really good. It's just a nice design. Um, I, I don't know how much in demand they are on the secondary market. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a clean slate. I, if you look at the Instagram for District Knives, they have these anodized in different colors. Uh, they have postings of them anodized in different colors, which is interesting, you know? So yeah, that's always a thought. If you just think you've got maybe too much, too much silver in, uh, in your drawer, then you can always do that as well. Man, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, detent. Uh, it's about four and a half to five, which is the way it is with most flipper knives. Yeah. Probably more closer to a four and a half than, than to a five even. Uh, Ten being the strongest and zero being the weakest. But it's very smooth. I don't think you've got to worry about this accidentally opening in your pocket. But, yes, it can gravity flip open. And, wow, what a flipper toy, huh? Yeah, I really like it. Kind of heavy, especially for the, for the size. Um, you know, we're coming up close to six ounces on that. Where, I mean, this is... A little bit longer knife and it's 3.8 so that's a big difference in weight big difference in weight this is a little bit more of a handful a little wider interesting blade style you think it could cut something let's see if it's, let's see if it's got the edge to it oh okay yeah I don't think I don't think Wes used this much uh, at all actually so I think this was kind of a safe queen for him. Sent it to me. It's like, hey, that's cool. I can't, I don't know what I sent him back. Not much. Done some knife sales and uh, thrown a bunch of his knives in there for him. So uh, that kind of thing. In any case, yeah. I like it. I just thought I'd chaw at you for a while. Just kind of like, hey, what do you think? This is one of those uh retro moves i guess because no it's not something you can buy right now that i'm aware of and um but just one of those that uh, it's kind of nice to document just for uh my sake and maybe yours as well gives you a little bit of if you ever run across one on the secondary market you go district knives apollo you know <laughs> like i did when i got this so yeah, you know, gives you some kind of a video you can go to, kind of look at it, get some stats on it. 
idea. Yeah, made by Wee Knives. And did an excellent job. Really did an excellent job. All right, Flanagan, we're out of here, buddy. Thank you guys so much for dropping in. You know we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.